what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as grand columbia and in this episode we're beginning this it's the first of a three-stage offensive to try and break through the austrian front line in the benelux region Our ultimate target is brussels but we have a few armies to deal with en route so let's engage edelbart nyman his force is very cavalry heavy so we're going to want to maintain a solid front line to make sure we don't get any we don't get overrun so we're going to slowly we're going to push up try focus on their cavalry with our artillery fire first and then start to work on uh their artillery and then their infantry because they've not got much infantry so even though they've got a good amount of line infantry guards we can isolate and destroy them once the cavalry force is broken. Okay. Right, so I want my guns up here. Tramp over the hill. My line infantry. Form up in front of the guns as well. The guerrillas cover the left flank. Give them a household cavalry unit. Get my carabiner and my cuirassier on the right flank. General in the centre. Howitzers deploy. Just fire as fire whatever they can as quickly as they can. The target. Okay. Right. Let's give a bit of aggressive order to advance you want to get our guns up into position yeah there comes carcass shot from the heavy horse howitzers we need to push in quickly to deal with them Ideally, I can get all the way to here before they attempt to counter charge. If we can, keep my howitzers shooting at their cavalry. Because the howitzers are in defensive, defensive positions. But if we push up close enough, our musketry will sweep the tops and that will be the end of them. The main important the important factor is that we advance so close that they can't shoot at us in the way that they would like to. And again with the cavalry, same object with the artillery, sorry, same objective. Push my carabiner forward. They can give this Provincial Cavalry unit a good volley. Kind of a good volley. Take him out. Push my Gracier up. Okay, I may have to put a couple of the my house units onto quick climb duty. Excellent. Okay, we've got a good. We've got, we dominate their their flank. Push out the provincial cat. Push out my cavalry. Oh, are they charging our centre? The militia are broken. Charge the Swiss grenadiers. Heavy cavalry get the grenadier guards. Their flank is going down. Make sure our quick climbers are focusing on the enemy concentrations. Human form square. They've charged the general's bodyguard in. Ok, 
Okay, keep my artillery engaging the cavalry to the rear. Okay, I need to get my cavalry through this maelstrom. I'm going to lose some cavalrymen to, to them by doing that. Carabiner only just beating the enemy. Okay, let's clear out these guys. Again, the whole cavalry skirmishing bug thing causes me to lose a cavalry unit. Well, it's not really a bug, it's just something that the AI never used to do. Okay, let's break this enemy infantry formation. My left flank is strong. Break the line infantry. On, take him out. Break the line infantry guard. Send the general in as well. Okay, keep engaging the right flank. Skirmishers pull back. Line infantry are losing decisively. You men fold. Okay, this infantry needs to fall back. Reinforcements are here. Excellent. Heavy cavalry, household cavalry. And then the Marines can get out of square, get into the Swiss Grenadiers. My household cavalry get through here and try and break their artillery formations. Don't need another general. We fold in our left flank. Cavalry, yes. There we go. Their force was brittle. Powerful, but brittle. Freikorps line infantry. Push up and take their ground. Everyone engage the Swiss Grenadiers. You men take the howitzers. Nice. Infantry form up and engage the enemy. Yemen form up like so, so the skirmish cavalry can form up and join in as well. Okay, the Freud Corps are trying to defend themselves. Okay, let's go after their general. Skirmishes. Give them give the general a volley. Then go get him. Artillery. Ceasefire. Killed the general. Nice. Okay. Very messy. But we're going to beat through their line regardless. We're not going to stop. This is the reason why I've got so many... Added so many extra units into the field. Because then they can replenish. 
Alberto Crispy against this force here at Calais. Get another quite a decent force. Hungarian Fusiliers, Marines, Swiss Line. Decent amount of cavalry. Let's go get him. You want to maintain so much pressure, they can't they can't deal with our momentum. Then once we break through, we've broken through, then we just push fast. Even peace may be purchased at too high a price. Okay. Mighty gun line. Mighty howitzer line. Same thing as before. We need to push right up into their faces. Sharpshooters and hussars together. Horse guards separate. Not ideal with the town. Get my light cavalry sharpshooters up fast. Get my light cavalry up there. Get my grenadiers up here as well. Okay, the enemy now has units within the climb range. So the Lancers are going to engage my Hussars. Pile everyone in against them. Fighting through the town isn't ideal. We can make it work. The yeah, Lancers do a lot of damage on the charge. Once they're in combat, they start to fall. Ooh, shrapnel shot. That's pretty good. Okay, let's advance on the right flank as well. Heavy cavalry stomp the Lanvin militia. In their initial line infantry push, the Hungarian fusilier push has been obliterated. Still popping off shots. Engage the Freikorps, engage the line infantry. Excellent. My artillery is still doing counter battery, which is which is good. We lost two cuirassiers. We almost <laughs> killed half of a unit of militia. Whereas over here, the Lancers, they've done really, really good damage against my Hussars. Unsurprising, because my Hussars are light cavalry. This is why I piled everyone else in. Okay, let's... Keep the infantry moving up. You guys just pursue the light, some of their enemy units to make sure they do stay dead. Advance forward into the line infantry. The Lanvin militia have come back. Oh, we're a little too close for you now, are we? Of 
finally these lancers oh no they're still they're still get cracking on they did good work okay cavalry plus two sars get going Quick line the Marines. Keep engaging. Some of the retreating enemy are forming up a new defensive line. Marines are broken. Provincial Cav are going to start getting shot at once the line infantry are gone. Okay, you men. Form up a new line. Right up in the faces of the enemy general's bodyguard. Almost got the Lanvin militia to break again. Withdraw the Curacier. Oh, they were in a group. That's why they didn't charge. Okay, enemy on this line of infantry. Push into the town. Push around the town, push around the woods. Line infantry guards get in there to help the cuirassier. Oh, it's a switched around shot. Begin engaging the enemy infantry. Retarget the guns. Doing some good damage on the flank here to the point where they are shaken. Let's bring my general up to try and steady the line. This unit will do a lot of help in that regard, though. Which the U men push up right in front of them. See, they're already wavering, and that's just from the unit they were engaging firing back at them. All my foot artillery engage, don't engage the general's bodyguard because my cavalry over here can have a go. Well, they're going to break soon. There they go. If you don't want to defend your men, let's try get those marines. You may need to get down here to help out. Hussars actually, yeah, they are going to break. So I'd like to try and get them away from the general's bodyguard if I can. If I can. Keep killing their marines. There we go. 
slaughter some of these Swiss line. Artillery ceasefire. We may not kill the general because he may escape. Uh, we got him. Nice. Uh, we are going to continue, but we're going to run away from the stakes. Give you guys an order to chase down. You got here, you got a bug general's bodyguard unit. Didn't notice that. Kill these Hungarian fusiliers. Try kill, help kill these guys. Yeah, they're close to the edge of the map anyway. Nice. Now it's all on the general. Handful of Freikorps line infantry. Close victory. That wasn't a close victory. It was a good victory. It wasn't close. Excellent. Destroyed them. You men, replenish, advance up. You are within striking range of Brussels. Are they going to come in as a reinforcement? They aren't. But my victory would be pretty complete if I could knock back Pascal Cole. Destroy your force and these reinforcements and push them back. Let's do it. Because I think this is... We have dealt them such a... This is our Cobra breakout moment. This is... We've done so much significant damage to them that they're going to take longer to try and lick their wounds than we will to maintain our advance. They're going to withdraw into cities to... Uh, rebuild their forces we can lay siege to them and replenish while we're laying siege and now this time i have some super awesome foot artillery you may go there So Mr. Serrano's been here since he's been a part of this, of our army, for a very long time. All my heavy troops on the right, that's going to be the force I'm going to use to swing around and annihilate the enemy. Always like to put heavy cavalry with the skirmishes because they do love to try and take them out. Okay, heavy horse howitzer, very good. Quick climb unit, go for this cuirassier. Here they come. The heavy infantry hold position, they're coming in to us. There they are going to hit the flank. Not a problem in of itself. Keep playing with who we're going to push or who we're going to drop into square and who we aren't I mean, the enemy's concentrating themselves back here making them a very very exciting artillery target the lancers have gone into the 
gone into my square formation. More quick climb for the Curacier. Let's probably start blanketing this area. Squares ahoy! Bring my light cavalry in. Enemy dragoons are getting ready to cause problems. Square guerrillas get into a nice position on the flank. There goes the enemy general. Form a power line. Engage the enemy. Constant withering fire. The Swiss grenadiers aren't going to put up with too much of this. We've got Swiss Pikes, who I have spoken about on many, a, many an occasion. Fortunately, they're engaging my Grenadier Guards. My Light Cavalry. They're in a position to charge them in the rear while they're already wavering. Broken. Obliterated. Bring back the cavalry. Still got Oh yeah, well, they do have reinforcements coming in. Yeah, let's get my light cavalry committed to try and engage some of these troops. Get my skirmishes up to force the Swiss grenadiers to abandon their position. Apart from that, just advance up onto the hill. You may unplug the gap. Engage the horse grenadier guards with heavy artillery fire. You may try to hit the engineers before they have a chance to properly set up. Yeah, they, they are good infantry. They managed to set up. Swiss Grenadiers have been pushed back. Advance into the faces of these treacherous dogs. We have a huge amount of fire superiority, so I'm not afraid of advancing right up into them. Okay, you guys have to fall fall back a bit. Let's try to get my heavy cavalry around into the their general's bodyguard. Horse grenadier guards are being engaged by our artillery. Oh well, they they saw it. Cavalry and Sebastian Serrano to engage the engineers. Sebastian was never going to just sit here and let his men die. 
he would always commit into the action. Lead from the front. Oh! Send in the grenadiers. Protect your general. Forty-eighth, the wavering. Push out through the woods. Kill the Swiss mountain Jaeger. Excellent. Super general. Let's kill a unit with them. Four. Come on. Three. Two, one, zero. Get back, Sebastian. Next, pad infantry on the flanker. Proving to be remarkably resilient. Okay, let's get my... All my artillery to focus on the... Carabiner. Come on, break the 48th. There they go. Excellent. Shut the door on them. Is engage the militia. It's the enemy, yeah, the gen enemy general's bodyguard didn't manage to get any kills. Militia broken, cavalry are broken. Storm, storm, storm. Take the ground. Whoa. He came back. Okay. Household cavalry, go kill their general. All my artillery. Cease fire. You men charge into the back of the expat infantry. You men cease fire. Concerns, they've been attacked in the rear. Enemy general is. Still fighting, although they're unsure of themselves. Go on, get him. Get him. Got him. Excellent. What about you? How do you feel about that? Not very good, huh? Excellent. That has... God, that's like the, the last field army in the West. Yeah, they got nothing. Go on, Sebastian. This force that needs reinforcement can advance up. They could, in theory, take the bridge, but we're not going to do that. 
you can take that bridge. Excellent. Okay, what could what would really be useful? That would be if we could recruit a proper garrison army. Make sure you guys are replenishing. Well, make sure, yeah, make sure you guys are doing well. Yeah, now they're starting to panic. I need to run true strong going, uh oh. Okay, right. Luco Marine. Let's take Brussels. Got some artillery and some marines coming in as reinforcement. That's probably these guys. I don't know why we why that doesn't count as intercepting them. I suppose there is no mechanic to do that really. But yeah, Moritz Baum. Let's destroy their force as well. But yeah, we've really made a dent in their front line. Well, I mean a dent, we've blown through it. We're in a perfect position to advance on to Cologne and Amsterdam. When that happens, we can drive on to um, Hanover as well from Sweden. And again, let's follow the tactics that have worked so well for our empire as they conquer as they are conquering the world yeah, might try to get this general involved hey engage the marines engage the garrison line Gonna sit on the defensive actually. We've got a lot of field artillery to engage their artillery. We've triggered their cavalry to attack. Sars getting picked apart. We're into a bit of a shootout here. push around if you like that's fine my squares will defeat your cavalry well, they made it to my one of my units of foot artillery Swing in into the back of the provincial infantry. Just hold the line. The Carabiner are engaging their light dragoons successfully enough. Okay, my horse guard's going to go for their artillery. Form our lines and start to whip around the enemy flank. So my artillery can focus on the battle to their front. Actually, by the looks of it, they are going to charge in. Carabiner 
bolt your way into the center with my general. Hold my infantry flank in. How it's switched to round shot. Hit the marines. You men hit the marines. Swiss pikemen have abandoned their artillery. We got them. Okay, come on, you have to. This is going to be tricky to try and thread our way through. Engineers engage the marines. It says to focus fire on the dragoons because they're picking apart our infantry from the rear. Ah, the pikes. Ah, oh, here we go. There's a there's a charge route. No, don't charge into the line infantry smack the back of these marines fire it will off for my horse grenadier guards risky because my guys may get upset if their general dies get my heavy cavalry back into the center Push forward. Okay, let's get my general out of there. Keep my general free. You may have to about face and engage the enemy in your in your other in the other direction. Get my heavy horse guards out of there. Push these men around. Okay, we're engaging the enemy general. Need to commit. I need to commit my heavy cavalry as one large block. So you, eh, your fusiliers, you're not. Eh, you should stay where you are, doing what you're doing. You may have charged the rear of the Swiss pikes. to break those guys my artillery is in a very dodgy position this battle's gone real haywire Where limber you guys up? You men are wavering. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, got the Swiss pikes. Get up on the hill. Get in there against the Marines. Don't worry, this is why we have reinforcements. Okay, actually. So you men fall back. Oh, the Swiss pikes are coming back. 
That's going to put paid to that master plan. You men both engage the line infantry. Get around to here. Get back into the line. You men run away. Bring the general over here. You just hold up the Swiss pike. Hold up the Swiss pikes. Uh, you men form your musket line. The cuirassier and horse grenadier guards are engaging their, their marines. Get my general over. Got plenty of reinforcements coming in from the other direction. Form a solid line. You guys are just bugged. Excellent. The artillery is just going to clog it all up. are unlimbered. Never doubt the power of just a few units of line infantry that are holding their ground. But by the looks of it, it is this bug unit of infantry that could lose me the battle. Kill the Swiss Pikes. You've got into the militia, that's fine. Blast that unit of provincial line. There we go, they're shattered. Push up. Push the line up. Ah, Mountain Jaeger all the way at the back. Okay, let's speed up time. Trot my cavalry towards them, then we'll break them into a run. When they're a little bit closer. I'm not going to take any risks because this artillery will lose me the game if I don't do this properly. Okay, they've placed stakes, but they've advanced in front of the stakes. There we go. Whew. Real messy. Yeah, I got a bit too cocky there. Still, only lost one unit. Only lost one unit. City's taken. They already love us. I will Let's set a unit of guards to be recruited. Let's get building, get upgrading, get repairing, let's get rid of the dry dock. Awesome. Yeah, there Austria's in trouble now. You we're going to make a beeline for Cologne. You 
We're going to make a beeline for the for Amsterdam. Excellent. Then we'll break out into Hanover. Still need to deal with these Naples um, rebels. But once you've collected all the troops that you need, that will be fine. Um, over here in India, let's make sure that you are replenishing. Yeah, you were going to try and blitz for Bengal, but we'll see how that works out. Apart from that, we are maintaining our blockade over their land. You may have to go for territories like Neroon. They're not super critical, but they are... They help. <laughs> um, Chikomali, your next army's nearly done. Because you can land and attack this force here at Calicut. That would be really useful. Arcot is still just mass recruiting their, re their um, just reinforcements. Okay, I think it's going to... Let's hit and turn and see what happens. Excellent. More reinforcements. Uh, will you take one? Nope. Okay, Austria. What are you going to do about that? Huh? What are you going to do? Because <laughs> they are in trouble. Wurttemberg is the base of their... Seems like it's the base of their power for now. Um, when we jump on Hanover, that might change things somewhat, because then Berlin can, the force in Berlin could strike directly west, but they might be needed in Berlin for garrison reasons, based on how damaged the city is. Uh, but yeah, Austria, you're about to get pummeled. We're going to lay siege to Amsterdam and Cologne imminently. We're going to cover all of the bridges along the river then we will attack at a time and place of our choosing then our force in tunis will be done we'll clear out the rebels attack rome and then we'll actually start to be um on the road to attacking vienna vienna itself <laughs> yep they got problems Although, it looks like I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when things are happening. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're back. The only thing we really missed um, off camera, if you like, was the fact that the... Uh, do I want to intercept? Absolutely I do. Give me a free opportunity to chew up a Maratha stack. Absolutely I want to do that. Although we are going to be massively um, <laughs> over the turn limit, over the, the episode time limit, but whatever. We've got to take these opportunities to damage the Marathas as we can, because the if we don't, the next time they'll do it is when there's two or three stacks attacking us. <laughs> Won't be surprised if the next two armies come after us, one after another as well. So it's entirely possible they fight this action, then immediately have to fight another one. No breaches, which is good. They've got enough artillery to confidently make a breach. So that's not a... Yeah, they are good. They're definitely going to get in. Just hold our gun team in reserve. Okay, so let's, let's keep our cavalry outside of the city for now. We can put units up on the walls here to help defend them if they get attacked. That leaves us with three infantry units plus a native warrior auxiliary unit to 
defend any breaches, which is plenty. Go this. There's loads of cavalry in this army. Give them a volley of round shot. Go after their guns. Okay, so this is where they want to come in. The end result is going to be something like this. With the native warriors sitting in the armory. If they want to come in and take the armory. There you can see they're already out of 52%. Good. Quick climb damage. Okay, let's get most of the unit to stand off to the side. So we lose as few troops as possible. There we go. They're in. So you... You men cover the gatehouse. The other unit just go after the enemy cavalry. Artillery is in position. Unlimber ceasefire. Okay, yeah, they've ceased fire. They're not making two breaches. until they attack just keep quick climbing them I suppose <laughs> pushed back the union of our peasantry keep shooting cannons to shot at the breach Let's see if these men can run the gauntlet oh they do Apart from that, though, it's just going to be a question of slaughtering the enemy with quickline. Yeah, these ones might actually play stakes. Oh, they're, 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 okay, they made it up the wall. Well, not entirely, though. But yeah, just keep um, rockets on their own are not going to do what you need them to do. Not before my howitzers do. Especially as it is, if you take too long, eventually I'm going to have cavalry superiority. Yeah, our peasantry is still shooting. Yeah, the rockets will do good work, but not enough. Especially as when they shoot long range like that, their um, firepower is a lot more depleted. Although actually, you are within range of my... You are in range of my howitzers, so let's fire some quick climb at those rockets. Have you managed to make break this unit of Bajir Lancers yet? Not yet.
Okay, you missed. Let's see if you aim a little bit more short. Come on, reload. Oh yeah, that did the trick all right. Although there'll still be troops further back. Okay, now they're moving up. Okay, that's another unit of lancers destroyed. If we're just going to quick climb, be quick climbing, I'm probably just going to let it happen. Yeah, rockets firing again, but quick climb, another round should be off soon. It's working, but yeah, not in the way that you want it to. Yeah, that's the end of you. Yeah, in which case, just focus on... Focus on killing cavalry. The artillery is being engaged by our guns on the wall, which is super... Other than that, we're just going <laughs> to use chemical warfare. They really don't want to attack, it seems. Okay, that unit of Sipahi is done. But I think I'm pretty sure we're aiming at this unit and this unit of Pindari horsemen. Just so many free kills. And you're slowly picking away at those guys with your artillery. I mean, once we get... Once we make our... More decisive gains... Okay, let's maybe attack ground with quick climb. Instead of attacking directly... Okay, there goes the Sipahi. Nearly got the Pindari Horseman. Then it's on to that Zamandari Horseman. Camel, um, elephants are a bit trickier to get with Quick Climb. So we're probably just not going to bother with them. Choose round shot and engage. Hello! Interesting. They got their polyguard charge, so let's get ready. Hey, buddy. <laughs> They're confident. Here they come. Yeah, now they've decided that's what they don't like. Take a position on the inner fire step, please. Reload the cannons! Same with you guys, reman the correct fire step, fire inwards into the 65th two men. There we go, got him.
both focus on the Zimindari horsemen for now. Comes the Bajir Lancers. We've already lost half their number. We are ready in a square formation, down to 42 out of 120. 37. Hundred and fifty-two. The horsemen have been obliterated. Yep, there they go. The general's bodyguard is not going to get killed, sadly. Switch my howitzers to round shot and just focus on the war elephants, because I don't think they're probably not going to push. So let's just shoot at them with conventional round shot, work on them, and then take them out. Broken. Okay, let's get my <laughs> cavalry out. Okay, actually, let's get my howitzers to engage the enemy artillery. His cuirassier love elephants. They're not scared of elephants at all, especially when there's only only nine of them. By the looks of it, we might have actually killed the general in this group of elephants. How about you? And we will chase down and kill this unit, just to make sure. There we go. Ooh, actually, let's take a... Let's send a unit of heavy cavalry over to deal with those war elephants. You'll deal with them. On my lance, cavalry to hit the camel mercenaries. You avoid that action, deal with the artillery. The job of these men is to kill all of these war elephants. Kill the last guy here. Oh, there we go. We win. We didn't even get to chase them down. Nice, nice, nice. See you later, buster. See, there's plenty of them to deal with, so this is why we need to take those opportunities while we can. Ooh, we get to... Uh, we're going to have to withstand a charge... Or an attack from a lot of cavalry forces. We should be able to manage that with these with these forces that we've got. It could get a bit dicey, um, but we should be fine. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of more Maratha forces, hopefully. Cheers, everyone.